to the educators, grade 12 learners, RCL Expo of 2022. Good morning and welcome to the combined grade 12 prize giving and valedictory service for the class of 2021. I extend a special welcome to the grade head of grade 12 and head of academics, Ms. Cox. Ms. Cox will be uh, presenting the academic awards to the head of music, Ms. Jurgens, who will also be presenting the music awards. Finally, a warm welcome to the grade 12s. The last prize giving of your high school career and of course your valedictory service. Ladies and gentlemen, in 2019 we decided to combine the grade 12 prize giving with the valedictory service for the first time. Last year the initiative worked exceptionally well. We are excited to repeat this format in 2021. COVID-19 has resulted in certain changes today. We are socially distant, we are wearing masks, we get screened, we get sanitized. Our parents are unable to be here in person. But it is being recorded and we will make it available for them to view. We are saddened that your parents are not here today. We will acknowledge the parents later in the ceremony. Please note that at Fairburn proceedings proceed unannounced. Africa. 
Accounts and Accounting, Jodel Form, sorry, Jodel Form, eh? sorry, Jodel Form. As well as Philemon Mamabo. And Elijah Tyree. For English, Afrikaans and Life Sciences, Jaden Smith. And Carla Stein. For English, Afrikaans and Business Studies, Laya Manavet Sabir. As well as Ahmad Thomas. For English, Accounting and Business Studies, Jimmy Chu. For Afrikaans, Accounting and Business Studies, Bashir Jawa. As well as Fahar Sunday. Merit for English and Afrikaans, Lashawn Adonis. <laughs> Jesse Cornelius. <laughs> Shazia Dago. <laughs> Eden Fredericks. <laughs> Kelly Matthews. Jenna Norman, <laughs> Farid Morgan, <laughs> Iman Poole, <laughs> Kelsey Proven, <laughs> Rebecca Roberts, <laughs> Kothar Schroeder, Tony Van Vey. For English and Accounting, Hamida Ishmael. For Afrikaans and Accounting, Alicia Hollis. And Cheyenne Chen. Merit for English, Carla Abdullah. Talia Aziz. <laughs> Ayub Ben Yedder. <laughs> Jenna Surf. <laughs> Mohammed Darwin. <laughs> Sakina Idris. <laughs> Nicole Makuba. Dylan Woolyfield <laughs> and Tom Horakoff <laughs> and Amara Wally. <laughs> Merit for Afrikaans, Storm Adams. <laughs> Zoe Cupido. <laughs> Jaden Franz. Fredericks, Rihanna Halim, Erin Nazir, Leila Parker, Lee Peterson, Jenna Piscopa. Karen Williams. <laughs> Merit for Accounting, Seth George. <laughs> as well as Tina Mudamazori. <laughs> for Business Studies, Chad Snyders. <laughs> Academic
many colors. Also, it was just a reminder, the number of learners qualified for academic colors at the beginning of the grade 12 year, due to the achievements in the grade 11 year. At this stage, we have a number of people that qualify, and this is now meaning they have achieved an 80% aggregate in the November exam of grade 11, as well as an 80% aggregate in the September trial exams, obviously during the grade 12 year. So we congratulate the following people, academic colors. He's an excellent example to his peers 
as he was fully involved in many aspects of the college. He was a member of the RCL for the past four years. From grade 10 to grade 12, he was the chair of the RCL and he served on the college governing body. He was the choir leader and was also very active on the sports field. His involvement did not end there. He also formed part of the Christian and Nature Societies. He is truly an outstanding ambassador for the college. It is thus with great pleasure that we award the Smuts Trophy to the head boy of 2021, Philemon Mamaboy. outstanding leadership and given the college exceptional service. The head girl of 2021 can without a doubt be described as someone who is reliable, never shirks her responsibilities. She is humble and appreciative of all her opportunities, always willing to help. She is fair and respectful to both learners and staff. She was an outstanding role model to her peers. Not only has Gabriella achieved exceptional academic results throughout her high school career, but has also shown commitment and dedication in other spheres of the college. The choir, on the sports field, orchestra, Christian society, as well as the Interact Society. It therefore goes without saying that Gabriella embodies the college's ethos. So ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for our head girl of Fairman College, Gabriella May. refinement and decorum. The dictionary defines the terms refinement and decorum as behavior that is considered correct, polite, and respectable. In layman's terms, it is somebody who behaves ladylike at all times. This year's recipient is somebody who embodies the following qualities. She is soft-spoken, she is reserved and polite. She is kind and humble and shows great appreciation for everything she receives. She is respected by her peers for her calm and ladylike demeanor. The grade 12 learner deserving this trophy, the Schultz Cup for Refinement and Decorum for 2021, is Kelly Matthews.
I welcome the educators, my colleagues. Educators of Fairburn, this email circulates and arrives on my desk. I want to read it to you. It goes as follows. After being interviewed by the school governing body, the prospective teacher said, let me see if I've got this right. You want me to go into that classroom with those learners, correct their disruptive behavior, observe signs of abuse, monitor the school dress and the hair code, and instill in them a love for learning. You want me to check their school bags for weapons and raise their sense of self-esteem and personal pride. You want me to teach them patriotism and good citizenship and sportsmanship and fair play. I must look for antisocial behavior and make sure they all pass their final examination. You also want me to communicate regularly with their parents by letter, telephone, newsletter and report cards. You want me to do all this armed with a pen, a whiteboard, a data projector and a few books and a big smile. Well, educators of Fairburn College, just look at what you have achieved with this group. Your chosen profession makes all other professions possible. Thank you for choosing a profession called teaching. All in the hall, please salute the educators and say thank you and well done. I welcome the moms and dads in their absence. It is difficult to put into words how sad we are that you are not here today. Moms and dads, this morning I repeat a welcome story which has been told at every valedictory service for the last 19 years. And so goes number 20. Moms and dads, you have done a very good job with your sons and your daughters. I'm sure you can hardly believe that the fact that it's gone so quickly. Was it not just the other day that you were packing your first lunchbox? The first day in grade 8, a grade 1. Can you remember that little Tupperware box? A little plastic cooling bottle? I hope you didn't make the same mistake as I did by putting coke in the bottle and then the bottle exploded. The first reading book, the first spelling test, the first maths calculation. There were so many firsts. Then the first sports match. And off we go to our first athletics meeting. And the little grade ones don't know which way to run. And the tears roll down their cheeks when your son or daughter did not win the race. Then the first report, moms and dads, do you remember how proud you were? In high school, and all of a sudden, moms and dads, you were no longer required. That first dance party, and the first dance parties happened long before that. <laughs> then the first broken heart, and then before you know it, your child is writing the final grade 12 examinations. And then your child is no longer a child. Moms and dads, parents and guardians, Congratulations. You have supported and brought these children up with love and care. And again, can we salute our parents? <clears throat> Grade 12, at a time like this, you might want to tell your parents a story that goes like this. Mom, Dad, and I thought you weren't looking. You hung my first painting on the refrigerator and I wanted to paint another. When you thought I wasn't looking, you fed a stray cat and I thought it was good to be kind to animals. When you thought I wasn't looking, you baked a birthday cake just for me and I knew that little things were very special. When you thought I wasn't looking, you kissed, you kissed me goodnight and I felt loved. When you thought I wasn't looking, I saw tears coming from your eyes. And I learned that sometimes things hurt, and it's all right to cry. When you thought I wasn't looking, I looked and wanted to say thanks for all the things you did when you thought I wasn't looking. This morning, lastly, we welcome the grade 12 learners to this ceremony. Matrix of 2021, as we welcome you today, we thank you for your contribution to the college. To our head leaders, Gabby and Philemon, to the deputies, Michelle, Fayaz, to the RCL executive and the RCL, and the Madrid group as a whole. Thank you.
to the matric class of 2021 for the role that you have played at Fairburn College in all aspects from grade 8 to grade 12. Today, I regard this as your rite of passage, your welcome into the adult world. Sadly, due to COVID, you have been robbed of so much. You did not have a grade 11 evening. You did not have a soccer day, touches, a picnic around the pool. You did not get to run onto that court or that astro or that sports field, wearing that first team kit with pride to represent your school. You did not have a grade 12 evening. You did not get to perform in the choir or the orchestra or the jazz band or the ensemble that you had worked so hard on your whole school career. You did not get to put on that dance or that drama piece you had worked on. You did not have a metric dance or a fashion show. You did not have the privilege of having your parents here in the hall to see you take this first step into the adult world. And so now, more than ever, I thank you for making it thus far in these trying times. The challenges and disappointments that you have had to face over the last two years have also prepared you for life's challenges and disappointments. Use the tools and the coping mechanism you have learned over these two years to make you stronger. Go out into the world ready and prepared to make a difference. Be the change. Stand out in the crowd. Do not be scared to be different, because in differences brings creativity, and creativity brings new life. Most importantly, be true to yourself. Lazan Brett and Robin Blackenberg, I wait to hear in a few years' time how you have started your own business and made your fortunes. <laughs> I long to see Michael Williams running onto the rugby field representing the Springboks and Joshua Gaola playing for South Africa's hockey team. Watch out for the Just Fairburn Jazz Band with Gabby, Kelly, Zoe, Kota, Keisha, Ryan and Logan taking central stage in Central Park, taking the world by storm. Keep your ears open to hear of the youngest ever Anglican Bishop being appointed. Chad Snyders. <laughs> and the revolutionary psychologist and therapist that has, had, that has ended anxiety and depression in teenagers by teaching them to hug a tree, to kneel to practice. <laughs> and finally, the next South African preaching president, Philemon. <laughs> Matrix of 2021, all the best for the pending examinations. You are lean, mean exam writing machines. All the best. Matrix of 2021, today is the day we bid you farewell. The day has arrived, the day that learners look forward to their whole life, to say goodbye to your school. Strangely, the closer we get to this moment, the more nostalgic and anxious you become, because school has provided you with everything you need. There's lots of sentiment here in the hall today, which will make us cry. We will remember today's ceremony in days to come, because this will, we will never meet like this again. Do you remember that initial interview when you were in grade 7 and you were coming here in grade 8? In those interviews, you were nervous and unsure of yourself and what to look out for. As you entered the gates in grade 8, did you make a silent prayer? What did you ask for? Now, five years later, were your prayers answered? Perhaps you asked for strength, but God gave you difficulties to make you strong. You asked for wisdom, but God gave you problems to solve. You asked for courage, but your God gave you dangers to overcome. You asked for favors, but your God gave you opportunities. In fact, you might say that you received nothing that you wanted. Instead, you received everything you needed. And so he's sad, but it is happy as you grow up. And as the school loses its seniors, we will watch you, no longer participants in our lives, but as onlookers, and proudly recount your news as you progress through life. Grade 12s, you go out into the world as proud products of Fairburn College. I hope you feel as proud as I do.
Matrix of 2021, Fairburn College wishes you well. I thank you.
Good morning, Grade Twelves. Before I start my speech, I would just like to say that I did not compare notes with Mr. Standish beforehand, so please keep that in mind. Okay, today is your valedictory, our chance to say goodbye to you. I was honoured with being able to know you for the last three years. As most of you know, I joined Fabian College four years ago. It was round about this time of the year, and I was informed by Mr. Marchant that I would be receiving this larger, this rather large group of then grade 9 learners as my grade 10 grade group from the next year. Now the job of a grade 8 grade 12 has some strong similarities to that of being a parent. A grade 8 is there to motivate, give advice, listen to your problems and what is on your heart and help guide you to become the best possible version of yourself. Sometimes this guidance might have meant having to enforce discipline as well. So, today might be one of the last times you hear me say, Asat Ali Anwari, can I speak to you outside please? <laughs> or at lines, Liko, Milani, Zetu and Ziyanda, are you ladies done with your conversation so that we can lead in? Or, Miss Basadin, please hurry up and get to your class. <laughs> As you graded, I've had to have made many decisions about you. Like whether or not to do anything about the WhatsApp stickers you've created about some of the staff. <laughs> I would just like to say, nice one. know that I am a mathematics teacher, but some of you might not know that I'm also a life science teacher. So today I would like to share a bit of that side of me with you by telling you a story about the life cycle of a butterfly. Now you have to think back to primary school. You should remember that a butterfly has four life stages. First is the egg, then they develop into a larva or a caterpillar. Then we have the pupa. And large, lastly, it develops into the adult butterfly. Now, so if you indulge me for a little bit longer, I would like to share the following short story with you. The story's name is One Day. One day a small gap appeared in the cocoon, through which the butterfly had to appear. A boy, who accidentally passed by, stopped and watched how the butterfly was trying to get out of the cocoon. It took a lot of time. The butterfly was trying very hard, and the gap was as little as before. It seemed that the power would leave the butterfly soon. The boy decided to help the butterfly. He took a pen knife and cut the cocoon. The butterfly immediately got out, but its body was weak and feeble and its wings were barely moving. The boy continued to watch the butterfly, thinking that now its wings would spread and it would fly. However, this did not happen. The rest of its life, the butterfly had to drag its weak body and wings that weren't spread. It was unable to fly, because the boy did not realize that an effort to enter through the narrow gap of the cocoon was necessary for the butterfly so that the life-giving fluid would move from the body to the butterfly's wings and that the butterfly could fly. The great effort required of the butterfly to escape its cocoon is the very thing that would help it become stronger and be able to grow and develop. Great dwells, just like the butterfly, if we are allowed to live without meeting difficulties, we would not be viable. Life gives us challenges to make us stronger. Some of you have already faced hard challenges in your life, and yet there is more to come. Certain of these challenges you will face might even be very exciting. Like where to go study next year? Are you going to live at home? Are you going to be in race? Moving into your own place? Getting your first job and being able to spend your own money? Great 12s, my wish to you 
is that you embrace the challenges that life gives you. As you might not know at that moment why you have to face them, but like the butterfly, we need to face challenges to grow and develop. I would like to thank you for letting me be your graded for the last three years and wish you all of the best with your very exciting journey ahead. I'm going to end off with an Irish proverb that I love. It says, May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face. The rains fall soft upon your feet, fields, and until we meet again, may your God hold you in the palm of his hand. I thank you very much, my great friends. family. I am humbly honored to I am humbly honored to stand before you as your head girl that you have elected, empowered and trusted. It has been a five year journey of unbelievable adventures. Look at where we are now and how far we have come, holistically developed and matured. We have developed from immature, insecure, confused grade eights with blue, white, and red boards that proclaimed that high school was going to be rough. <laughs> but we grew into wiser, more experienced young adults who are on the verge of entering into a new phase and era of our lives. Throughout my scholastic career at Leven College, I had many guardian angels, mentors, and role models who have holistically molded not only me, but all of us who are here today. I thank God for those we had put on our paths to guide us. All honor and appreciation goes to those who never gave up on us when we made mistakes or failed or even gave up on ourselves. From the bottom of our hearts, we salute and acknowledge those who have believed in us and helped us to see the light in our darkest tunnels and encouraged us in word and deed that giving up is not an alternative. Endless love and gratefulness radiates from the bottom of our hearts today to those who unconditionally loved and respected our individual uniqueness in this awesome, beautifully diverse Fabian College school community. I thank God Almighty for the blessings and wonders that I experienced at Fabian College Mr. Standish. Sir, your surname is one of a kind, just like you. <laughs> no one carries the college in their heart as much as you do. Thank you for always being the available father, the calm in the storm, the encouragement during discouraging times, the hope in the hopelessness, and the guide when you were confused. Ms. Lasky, ma'am, my fondest memory of you is when your grade 8 class of 2017 got first place for the big walk and you celebrated in a really super extraordinary way. You confirmed that being extraordinary in expressing oneself in an acceptable way is perfectly okay. What radiated from your extraordinary celebration is a beautiful, boundless passion for education and creating a teaching environment for lifelong holistic learning. Now, there's a special teacher, Ms. Adams. Ms. Adams embodies the definition of authenticity. Ilias, I think you can confirm that there was never a dull moment in Ma'am's class where we didn't laugh at one of her dry witty jokes. <laughs> in her absence, well, I would also like to acknowledge Lady Ms. Warner, a woman who had a servitude heart, filled with kindness beyond measure to uplift all of us. In spite of her challenges, her presence and spirit transformed the school environment into a place where we had an awesome sense of belonging. To my registered teacher of three years, Ms. Seneca, 
Thank you, ma'am, for tolerating us for so long. The countless shades of grey e, are testimony of your infinite wisdom which transformed our inner beings. Now, during the four years of Afrikaans lessons, we have been equipped not only linguistically, but also with life skills to be humane to all and in all circumstances to make this world a better place for all. I shall always remember choir practices till six on a Tuesday and then again on a Friday. I shall also remember orchestra and band camps. We truly produced beautiful music in unison. To Ms. Hoes, Ms. Jurgens, and Ms. Smith, and the rest of the music department, don't ever doubt or underestimate your efforts. It is invaluable to the college and its pupils. Music was the catalyst that influenced, not only, that influenced greatly not only my intellectual development, but also that of my music classmates. A special mention to Mrs. Avonka, a cheerleader always ready for math. <laughs> Mrs. Canada, the most beautiful soul with a heart of gold. Mrs. Strauss, a prayer warrior who has taught me to always keep the faith. And then to my partners in crime, Philomar, Michelle, Fayaz, and the rest of the 2021 PFA group. I have come to know you as family, my brothers and sisters, and my only hope is that you will thrive in your future endeavors, whatever that may be. According to my parents, besides God, education, formal and informal, is key to a purposeful, significant, fulfilled life that is limitless and abundant. One of Tata Madiba's famous quotes reads as follows, Education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. It would be heartbreaking if our scholastic careers at Fairman College were only butter phase we went through. My hope and prayer is that it was a life-changing process and experience here. That equipped us to be agents of positive change in a beautifully diverse country with unlimited, untapped potential. May our obtained knowledge become the wisdom to transform our country and world into a better place for all. Remember, all our gifts and talents are tools to serve others, not ourselves. In this, we will discover the beauty and significance of self. Another lesson I learned from them was the importance of saying thank you, showing gratitude and appreciation to, towards those who have offered up their time, efforts, energy, and even their lives to get me where I am today. If you have someone to drive you to school in the mornings and then pick you up again at all was too, count yourself blessed. All of us here today are in the positions that we are now because of somebody else's sacrifices. Hence, the best life to live is to sacrifice your emotions, interests, and desires for the best interests of those around you in a balanced way. In conclusion, what makes us human? The simple answer for this is to treat and serve everyone, humans, plants, animals, and the environment in a humane way. In all our conduct, let's be fair, just and righteous in word, deed, and thoughts. This is the essence of the authentic, original human art. This is also the key to bring out the best in others and to develop our country in a holistic way. As I exit as the 2021 head girl of Haven College, I exit as the 2021 head girl of Haven College with the following. A quote by Ms. Mary Ann Williamson. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine as children do. It is not just in some of us, it is in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. In the text of 2021, I leave you with the following. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace for the time that lies ahead. 
Love you guys. Thank you. Traditions at the school and Miss Lasky going ballistic when the class wins a prize at Big Walk celebrations. For many of us, if not all, this is our last, our last time to hear those laughs, our last time to cherish those memories together. My last time addressing you from this podium as your head boy. This Matrix of 2021 is our last and final goodbye. So let my first goodbye be to the staff, the teachers, our educators. Those who were with us and taught us in and outside the classroom. Believe you me when I say, you have really come to mean the world to us. I'm going to be honest and say, coming to the school, adjusting to its traditions, its code of conduct, especially page 10 and 11, is not for the faint of heart. You have truly helped us cope by being able to not just show yourselves as staff members of Fabian College or teachers in a classroom, but allowing yourselves to be our mentors for life by showing us when you have taken off your black robes, your humanity and honesty even if the situation did not allow you to. Those are the vulnerable moments that we shall cherish and remember forever. So we say thank you to all of you, even those who have moved on to other schools or passed on to the other side of life. Then, I would like to say goodbye to a group of people that have become very dear to my heart by force. <laughs> Those are my prefects. I promised you that I would say... <laughs> that I would say thank you to you at our benedictory so that the whole grade may know just how much you mean to me. So let me start off by saying this. You are the reason why I won't have kids. <laughs> I, I identified you guys as stressors. <laughs> you see, nobody may know or recognize the immense amount of work that you put in. How much you have sacrificed this year and what you chose to persevere through. But I do. So thank you for not giving up, not giving up on your job, 
not giving up on your head leaders and yourselves. No matter how hard it got, and no matter how much you wanted or felt as if you needed to throw in the towel, you stayed and you continued. And here we are today, standing as the RCL executive of 2021. On behalf of your head leaders, thank you for giving us a chance to lead you. From me personally, I want to thank you for honoring my wish of ending this race with everyone that I started it with, leaving no man behind. Thank you for making it possible for us to leave a legacy. Though it may not have been how you wanted it to turn out, but we adapted and we overcame. I will miss your badness, all of you. I will miss being your leader, no matter how much you irritated me. <laughs> I will choose to do it all again, a thousand times over. You have made me the proudest people. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm almost done. <sighs> this is the last part I can feel your patience. <laughs> Lastly, I want to say goodbye to the Matrix of 2021. But before that, I want to leave you with this. I, the Bible speaks true when it says that we are more than conquerors. After all that we've been through COVID and all, and to still find, us, to find ourselves standing, still ready to finish this race, to close this chapter of our lives is astonishing. After this, let no one tell you that you can't do it, not even yourselves. After all this, I have the assurance that no one can tell me that my God is not real. I say that with confidence because of not only what I've seen him pull me through throughout the years, but from what I've seen him do in all of your lives, whether you recognize it or not. Jonga, not only has he fought for me and helped me, but he has given me the blessing of meeting each and every one of you special souls. So don't lose him and hold on. Don't lose your faith in him. I speak with pride when I say I'm part of the matric class of 2021. The kids who brought and carried the fears at Interhouse Athletics each and every year. We know that we carry them. <laughs> now listen to me. We may be products of Devon College, but it's not because this college made us known. Instead, it tested what we were made of. You are a strong, resilient, and rambunctious bunch. Big English words, I know. I honestly believe the men and women seated before me are destined for great things, each in their own way, to your own capacity in Jesus' name. Do not take for granted the opportunity you have been given. Our parents, who, were, who we are eternally grateful to have, have gone to the ex extreme English, to get us where we are. Thank you to all the mothers and fathers in their absence. We know that they sacrifice much more than they tell us. Therefore, great worlds, believe in yourselves too. Because after today, it starts. We need to conquer finals and come out victorious and give the schools something that they haven't seen in a long time. A hundred percent pass rate. They will remember us by fire, by force. Thank you for all of the friendships formed that I never thought would happen. You have meant a great deal to me and have made an enormous impact on my life. I love each and every one of you. For my last act as head board of Fabian College, to you I say goodbye. Stanish has asked me to pay tribute to the Arsenal Executive of 2021 by reading the following message. He says the following. He says, you worked well together and you stuck to your vision of maintaining the deep uniform and the discipline of the playgrounds. On the partial side, you will be remembered for the spirit that you've instilled in the college. Right from the word go, the packing of the books in the classrooms, 
the Grade 8 induction day, the name boards of the Grade 8s, and on and on. So special mention must be made of the way you continue to do your tasks under yet another COVID-19 affected year. A special thank you to our head prefects, and especially Philemon and Gabby for your leadership of this Arsenal Executive Group. You truly made us a family. However, to each and every Arsenal Executive Member, I say a massive thank you to you for your service to the College. And we'd like us to give them a round of applause, please. stage for the last time so they can join their classmates in the body of the hall. I think we'll give them a round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, the torch is now being passed to a new generation. Incoming Arsenal Executive has been tasked with maintaining the ethos and the standards for which Fairman College is well known. The new members of the Arsenal Executive received their badges from Mr. Standish by a virtual announcement earlier this year. They've been on their training camp, they've been doing a sterling job since they were elected. I'll now ask the Arsenal Executive of 2022 to, as I read their names out, to just stand where they are. In at their seat, so that we can all see who you are. We'll start with the girls, and I can ask the audience, please, to just hold your applause, and we'll applaud for the group once all the names have been read out, and we'll follow the same procedure for the boys. So we'll start with the girls. If I read you now, you can just please have time to stand, please, ladies. Chowa Abrams, Amore Besson, Iman Mayat, Zoe Berry, Keisha Bester, Mia Brainers, Fatima Cupida, Lita Diaz, Sarah Fortune, Courtney Hans, Nadia Hayes, Gemma McCrill, Akila Musa, Caitlin McCrum, Kylie Ndagachimano, Taba Parker, Zoe Pegram, Mamela Romaji, Leila Slamdin, Lauren Tiernes, Carly Thomas, Caitlin Tobin, Tiana van der Poel, and Reese Warriors. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> Samuel Common, Takiu Davids, Tempaletu De Young, Janaid Moses, Joshua Wisterhoff, Tristan Wisterhoff, Danish Pandey, Cameron Skull, Rocco Stiemfeld, Onate Bosher, Liam van Skalkweg, and Jared Weingart. Congratulations to the board. <laughs> the Arsenal Executive of 2022, in the presence of all assembled here, you are about to make a very solemn pledge. So I ask you to stand again, please. All the 2022 Arsenal Executives, please stand. Please repeat after me nice and loud and I can hear you. I promise to do my best to live up to the high office of RCL Executive Member. I to do my best to live up to the high office of To good service before self. To service before self. To observe the rules of fair play. To observe the rules of fair play. Without bias or favoritism. To be fearless in the face of opposition or unpopularity. When I know my actions are upright and just. To 
be loyal to my school and the headmaster. To uphold the code of conduct. To lead by example both at school and during my leisure hours. And by so doing, to uphold the honor of Fairwood College. Well done. of the head and deputy head girl and boy. I invite Mr. Standish to step forward to hand out the badges. The procedure will be as follows. I will announce the new deputy head girl. She will then come forward, be congratulated by Mr. Standish. Mr. Standish will hand her a badge and she will then take her place on the stage where she will put on a badge once she's seated. Same procedure for the remainder of the new head leaders. Ladies and gentlemen, and Fribourians, it gives me great pleasure to announce that the deputy head girl for 2022 is Mamela Romanchi.